in plumbing. Yeah, you can fix your fittings, but sometimes you need to use the pump. Mm. Therefore, uh, plumbing issues are also one major factor promoting dampness in building. Hello, cherry viewers. Welcome to the source channel. And you know, when we are talking about the source, it's a place of, uh, it's a place where we give quality education concerning building and also civil works. Yeah. And today we are here to give you an exciting uh, edition. And we are going to talk of companies. Yeah. So before I begin, my name is Isaac and I'm here with Stephen. Yeah. Good. So uh, first of all, what is dampness? So uh, you realize that most of the time when in our buildings, when we do see the surface of uh, our walls being chopped off by water, and most of the time this water comes from the foundation or let's say the soil and it rises through the walls yeah so we realize that our paint starts wearing off gradually it affects the plastering gradually our blocks being exposed and this is very dangerous if care is not taken our building will surely collapse one day yeah so if you are experiencing this in your home Today, we are here to discuss about it, and it is called dampness. So, yeah, I'm here with Mr. Steven to discuss about the causes of dampness. By the end of this episode, I'm very sure that you are going to learn a lot and be very well equipped so that you will not fall victim of such things. And when it happens, how do you solve it? So let's look at the process today. Mr. Steven, welcome. Thank you so much, my brother. Yeah. So dampness is one major problem in most of our homes. Yes. Yeah, most of our homes. In Ghana here, yeah. you see them. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, and people yeah. try to maneuver away and see if they can work around it. But it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't work. So since we are experts and engineer in civil ways. Uh, let's look at let's try and look at the process of this uh, dampness. Okay, first of all, you know um, dampness is part of the subsoil. Okay, which is in present in the in the subsoil there, so it rises to the foundation bed, okay. then throughout the wall, and it can go higher and higher and higher. Even on the third floor, yeah, on the first floor, second floor. Yeah, floor, because I this one. Because it's coming yeah. from ground, yeah. the subsoil, penetrating through the foundation. Yeah. Because there is no barrier, so it is penetrating. Moving yeah. Up. I I witnessed one around the area of Kaswa Sunday, mm. and what the man did was that he tried to lay down. Uh, down. Yeah. yeah. And for some few months or years, we realized that this same dampness is now at the the, 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 the first floor, yes. and he was surprised. Sorry, he was surprised rather. But yeah, the problem has not been solved. Yeah, you know when it happens like that, there are two things that we need to do. When you fail to prevent it from happening, yeah, and it has happened, there are certain things that you need to do. If you don't do it, if you keep going, if you don't, if you go to the market to go and buy these finishing materials, yeah. Thinking that you solve it is a lie. You, you, you will never solve it. Okay. In one month, you will see the result. Yes, yes. exactly. Yeah. exactly. So you can go to the shop and go and buy this form of materials. Uh, ask your painter to apply it because the painter to want to work. Like you say this one is good. It's good. Yeah. It will never work until you solve it from the um, from from the base. Yeah. Okay. So let's quickly look at the process now. Yeah. What are some of the causes of dampness? Oh, for the, for the causes, you know, um, when you are building, yes, 
whether you are building on a rock on a damp area wherever that you, are, you, you want to put up your, your building you need to solve or you need to make provision for dampness to prevent it but mm-hmm. also provide them good materials to prevent dampness in, a, in your building so if i'm against it's not necessarily in a water lot area not at all okay. just have it in mind that i am preventing dampness in my building okay you know um, water level can rise when you rise and there is no barrier it will penetrate through the foundation yeah therefore do not mind just put it from scratch from scratch on foundation so if there is no down proof material used from the onset it will cause dampness in the building oh, okay yes so the dpc must be used oh, okay. from the onset if there is absence of dpc DPC, yeah. it will cause dampness. Okay, yes. Okay, yeah. So uh, we are not mentioning any brand here, but uh, uh, what we need to know is that there should be a DPC available, yes, in any kind of building, whether it's in the water log or in the water in the water. Yeah, I think yeah. it's, it's clear. Yeah, yeah. 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 So w- what else? Um. Sometimes we, uh, you know. Are you planning to build apartments in Ghana? Is it one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, or four bedroom? Are you planning to build up a school? Are you planning to build up a hospital? How about bridges, hotels, event centers, or any sort of community projects? This is Company Limited got you covered we are here to design with you build and complete your project for you and we do this at an affordable price kindly call us on their numbers you can see on your screen call any of them you can even whatsapp us we always got you covered we are ready for you we are ready to give you a nice project thank you so in the world in like, the world let's say you have to join some parts yeah. and it's not being joined to work in little time and the water is flowing yeah. through our parts so yeah. that waste water whatever water filling uh, so, uh, water supply to the building water it will surely have effect and you see rising that mess in your building yeah 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 yeah, so dampness is caused by uh, uh, water yeah. or moisture. Moisture or rising. Oh, okay. Yeah. But some people always raise this concern that if, uh, the water does not contain salt, uh, it will not cause any issue. If it doesn't contain, contain salt, yeah, because they always think that it is only salty water which causes those da- dampness. Uh, not only that, if there is a linkage in yeah. the building, yeah. that will also cause the darkness. Oh, okay, yes. Not okay. only salty water. Okay. Maybe you happen to find this building that we are now in a salty area. You will see the effects in that manner. But a place where that you, you will not see any trace of salt in oh, okay. the area, but there is damp around the dampness around it yeah you surely see the effects yeah so it doesn't really mean that if the place or the, the moisture or the water is salty that is going to be okay. uh, good dampness okay how about hard water or oh, every water is water okay it's water. water oh okay yeah every water is water. all right so okay. i'm asking this now so that you all be clear yeah uh, mm. yeah okay mm-hmm. all right so the plumbing uh, faults can also cause yes. that when there is leak babies okay it will surely yeah all right yeah. so let's look at the other one oh that one um let's assume um there is um a water rising from the ground let's say the water level is high 
from the ground. Yeah. The water level is high. You are let's let's say um, you go to Kaswa area. Yeah. Or let's say Koplovite. Yeah. Or maybe um, that's waterlogged zone. Yeah. Itself. Some most places that are waterlogged. Yeah. Maybe sometimes the water trouble there are very high. Yeah. So definitely it is going to And if your dam facing material is not adequate and it's not strong, it will rise in the dam. Mm. Yeah. If it's not adequate, oh, okay. surely you will see the effect. So that means uh, you can equally apply your dam proof materials, but if it is not in the right proportion. Yeah. Hello viewers, this month it is our goal to hit 1000 plus subscribers. Without you, we cannot get up to this stage. So therefore, kindly do us this help by subscribing to our channel, hitting the notification bell you can see on your screen to help us achieve our goal. If you've not subscribe yet kindly do that if today is your first time also joining us kindly do that as well for us so that together we all move thank you aside anytime you are building consider using the improved materials in your foundation and also another thing is um, the sun that we use for our construction is it for the plastering or the entire thing? Yes, so for your foundation concrete work, for your uh, um, ground floor casting, the sun that you will be using, and also the plastering, the block work, all the sun that you will use. Okay. The sun must be free from salt, must be free from clay. Oh, okay. Yes. Why? Those are. Uh, some of the causes of dampness in our building. Wow. You ask your teacher guy to bring you sand and he gets you clay sand. A sand that uh, involves maybe some form of clay. Definitely you will see action here. Uh, some form of dampness in the building. Wow. Or salty. For some form of salt in the sand. So definitely it will escalate. So how, how, how are we to determine? How, how will you know that this sun contains salt or this blood? Yes, so that is why you are the engineer on site to get me. Okay. So when you are ordering, you will tell the supplier that right. I need this type of sun. Okay. I need plastic sun. I need plastic sun. I need a concrete rock sun. Okay. So they will get you that back. You can mention that to them that they can get yes, it yeah. without salty or yes. any form of sand. So yes. it should, at least should be mixed. Yeah. Or to avoid that, go straight to the other sand. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, okay. No, okay. mostly we we do use the river sand for yes. our works. Yes. Yeah, to be free from such uh, uh, occurrence. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay, that, 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 that's good. We are, we are all learning. Yeah. So, do you, do you have any other points? Um, so, mostly, these are few ones that I have so that you can deliberate on. Because the more, it just something little. If you don't do it, it will happen. It will happen. Yes, something little. Wow. Why you are going to put up a huge building? Nine and your days. foundation, a very beautiful building. Yes. Your foundation, you are not taking it well. If your foundation is not good, how do you expect your building to fashion well for you? Yes. To be user friendly for you, it will never, it will not be. So, my advice is that when building, take care of damp proof materials, damp proof all your areas. Oh, okay. yes. Okay. from the foundation to the ground level yeah but before we wrap it up uh i i i do observe this thing that uh sometimes 
uh, people buy this uh, black rubber uh -huh. and they, 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 they use it to cover the surface of uh, the foundation before pouring the concrete. Is it also advised? Very, very, it is one of the factors or the, the, the point to consider when uh, damping your. Mm. They, 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 they put only the rubber, yes. that's all. You put the rubber on the floor okay. for casting even your foundation. Okay. And then you, you roll it on the wall. But wouldn't it be detached from the blocks? No, you are not using any kind of car to attach it to the block. Okay. You are only rolling it up and okay. then doing your filling. So okay. you don't have the intention that it should stick to the okay. block work for you. Okay. That hasn't been your intention. Okay. Just okay. to lay it on the wall and then do your filling. That's all. Okay. For anything kind of protein. Okay, yeah. And we, as we are having to cut the ground floor, we have to lay it nice. Yeah, as well. Well. Yeah. And there are so many types in the market. So you have to look for the correct type. Yeah, the correct yeah. yeah. All right. So, good. Um, I think we, we, we meant a lot. So, the reason why you have dampness in your room is because of these factors. First of all, when, yeah. when the building starts, yeah. you need a client, your mind will not be there. You can see the contractor because you want to pass. Yeah. You want to just move pass and go. Right. And you need a client to don't know anything about construction. Yeah. He will definitely find a way to take calls and move away. Yeah. But he has forgotten that you call him in five years' time. It's definitely years' time. And it, it, it is not free to. Yes. You spend, uh -huh. yeah. So right. when if you if you spend time and money to rectify it as soon as possible, right from the foundation, yeah. then you are yeah. safe. Yes, yes, I think it's fine. So uh, we we we've seen it now. You know the reason why there is darkness in your room, in your shop, in your residential apartments, in your factories. So we've we've given you a gist of it. And also, those who do not have a uh, project or those who do not have a uh, building yet, and they are now stuck. So let's consider these things. They are very, very, very uh, de uh, delicate. So that uh, they will not fall victim in the next few years after we've completed our building. Very, very, very uh, crucial here. People in Ghana here are facing the consequences of these things and it's painful. And to correct it, you need to spend more. Uh -huh. And so, then people will be do correct it every year. Every year. But the actual thing that needs to be done, they are not, are not doing it. They exactly. just get to the market, buy such finishing material and call the painter to come and have a ride. That's rich. And in six months, one year, it happens again. And we call another painter that the first painter is not going to do a good job. But the, the correct way of resolving that, we have not done that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So to correct it, just contact us. We are we are experts of dampness. Wherever the dampness starts from, we will dig it and we will find it and we will uh, give you a solution. Yes, we've done it, we've done it on several occasions. Yeah. So the numbers on your screen, just put any of them, contact us, let's locate where your building is, and we'll solve your dampness issue for you. In our next video, we are going to talk about the solution, how we are going to or what we need to do to solve dampness issue. So can you subscribe to our channel, like, comment, share as well, so that we, we, we give you all this education. Together, we all go. Yeah. So until then, uh, we'll leave you here. Bye-bye.